Hello and welcome to Naughty Daddy's Guide to Computing from Maths to Minecraft. In the previous video we looked at the half adder and we noticed that if we use the exclusive or function we can actually sum two numbers together and if we use the and function we can carry them. Well that's all well and good if you've got two inputs A and B and you want a sum I'll just draw a box and then our output is a sum and carry but where does this carry go? It can't go into another one because you've used up your two inputs for your A and B if we're going to add two numbers together you need them so we're going to need a third input a carry in to make a full adder okay so what do we want this full adder to do I'll just fill in the other inputs and then we want a sum and a carry out Oops. carry out that doesn't look neat okay alright and so let's um, draw a truth table of what we want it to do our inputs are A and B and carry in and then our outputs are sum and carry out Oops. Not draw. Okay. So we're just counting up in binary to make sure we get every possible combination. So that's zero, one, two, and then binary three, and then binary four, binary five, binary six, and binary seven. So there's eight possible combinations ranging from zero to seven. Now our output we really don't need that line that I drew okay so our outputs well if all of those are zero then there's no sum and there's no carry so zero plus zero plus one is one and there's no carry 0 plus 1 plus 0 is 1 and no carry. 0 plus 1 plus 1 is 0 carry 1. So that's, that's basically 2. So 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1, so that's 1 carry nothing. 1 plus 0 plus 1 is 2, so that's 1 0, so that's 0 in the sum and 1 in the carry. So zero, one, uh, sorry, one plus one plus zero is two, so that's again zero in the sum, carry one. And one plus one plus one will be three, which is one in the units column and one in the twos column. So that's sum is one, carry is one. Okay, so this is our inputs and these are our outputs. So what Boolean algebra can make this pattern. Okay, well we know that we can use an exclusive OR to sum numbers together, so we've got to assume that there's exclusive ORs involved here. So if we exclusive OR A and B together and then exclusive OR the combination of that with C let's see what we get we'd have all zeros would be zero a exclusive or B would be zero exclusive or C I would make a one a exclusive or B would make a one 
an exclusive or that with a zero will make a one. So a exclusive or b would make a one. Exclusive or that with a one that makes two ones. So that would be a zero. So a ex well, there's just the one one there, so that would be right. There's two ones there, so that would be a zero. There's two ones there, so that would be a zero. There's three ones there, so that would be a one. That's right, because A exclusive or B would be zero, and then exclusive or that with a one will make a one. So that is correct. So sum, so sum equals A exclusive or, well, that's a really rubbish exclusive or, there you go, exclusive or B, exclusive or C. Okay, now what about this carry out? Well, that looks like an AND function. We know we can use AND, but what about these? That looks like an OR function down there, but we have to make it so that it works on all three of these variables to come up with this answer. So, and we know we use AND to carry, so what we're looking at is basically we're ORing the combination of all these ANDs, aren't we? So A AND B ORed with B AND CI ORed with A AND CI should give us this answer. Let's just double check. In fact, let me write it down to make sure I've got this right. So let's say A and B or A and C I or B and C I. So basically, if there are any two ones, sorry, if only if there are two ones, or at least two ones, will there be a one in the carry, which is what we want if we're adding these together. So that actually does look right. But let's double check. A and B are both zero, um, so that term goes to zero. That term goes to zero, and that term goes to zero, so the whole thing goes to zero. Okay, A and B are both zero, so again we've got A's there and a B there, so all those terms have either an A or a B in it, so yes, they go to zero. This one's got an A and a C as both zeros, so that A zero will make that a zero and that a zero, and that C being a zero, that CI being a zero, will make that term zero, so that will also be a zero. So in this one we've got two ones, which is promising, so that A and B term goes to zero, but the B and CI term will be a one, and since they're odd, this has to be a one. So here we've only got the 1, 1, so that means the B term there makes that 0, and the um, CI makes that 0, and the CI makes that 0, so this will be a 0. So that brings us down to this one. There are two ones, so we would expect the answer to be a 1. So that A and B goes to 0, but... A and C I term is a 1, so this will go to a 1, regardless of what that term does. So this one, we've got again two ones, so we're expecting it to have a 1. Um, so the A and B term this time that is a 1, so regardless of these other terms it's got to be a 1. And then all three are 1s, so all three terms will be 1s, so that, that will also be a 1. So that is the correct formula to make a full adder. So in the next video we're going to try and draw the circuit diagram for a full adder, or rather the logic diagram for a full adder, given that we now know the Boolean expressions for a full adder.